everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about six consequences of being a bad driver, okay? Let's face it, we all have seen probably many bad drivers in our driving career, and we even probably know a few of them personally. I, ha I personally know a handful of bad drivers. If you, if you are a bad driver, and you're my friend or family member, and you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I'm talking about you, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you about some consequences of being a bad driver, so hopefully, we can all take the appropriate precautions to become better drivers, so we can avoid these consequences. The first one is obvious, Tickets, number one is tickets. You're more likely to get tickets when you're a bad driver than when you're a good driver. Because when you're a bad driver, you're doing all sorts of things in a bad way, and you probably might not even know that they're bad. So you might be doing illegal things. Like a bad driver will not signal when they're changing lanes, okay? Um, and not signaling when you're changing lanes will earn you a ticket where I live and probably where you live as well. So getting tickets is a could be a major consequence because even if you got lots of cash, even if you're so wealthy, let's just face it, nobody wants to get lots of tickets. You just don't want a driving record with lots of tickets. It's just a hassle. Even if you can afford to pay $50,000 of insurance a year, let's say you're so wealthy, it's just just a hassle to deal with all of it, right? It's always something extra. Number two is accidents, which is related to tickets, kind of. Now, if you're a bad driver, you know, let's say you're a bad driver and you make a left when it's unsafe to make a left across traffic, boom, you might get T-boned like the steak, okay? Um, so essentially, accidents are probably the worst case scenario. And if you're a significantly bad driver, you're more likely to get into a significant amount of accidents. So with that being said, please improve your driving and follow the driving rules so you can definitely avoid consequences number one and two, tickets and accidents. Consequence number three goes hand in hand with the first two, and that is higher insurance. So as you get tickets and as you get into accidents, as your driving record depletes with regards to its quality um, and increases with regards to its number of things on it, you are more likely to pay a higher insurance premium. Now, like I said, you know, if you asked myself when I was 16 years old, uh, if I could afford my insurance going up 100 bucks a month, I would say no way. That would make a, the world of a difference. I got my first car uh, pretty much shortly after I turned... Uh, I, I, shortly after I got my license, I was like, I think I was end of 16. If not, I just turned 17. Bought it with, with my own money. I was paying an, an, an unbelievable amount of insurance. Like, ridiculous. It was basically all of the money that I was earning working 40 hours a week part-time was going towards gas and insurance in this car. So I could not afford any increase. If you're wealthy, maybe higher insurance is not going to affect you. You know, like right now, I could afford my insurance going up 100 bucks a month. I don't want it to, but I could. It wouldn't, wouldn't, it wouldn't really hurt me. But I've worked hard to get to this place. So if you're wealthy, you know, higher insurance might not affect you. But let's just face it, it's just a waste of money. So just become a good driver, and hopefully your insurance won't go up. Number four is people don't want to drive with you, and this is probably the one of the worst ones socially because you're like, hey, let's go, let's go grab a coffee, I'll drive, and they're like, eh, no, I'll take the bus, it's okay, I'll, I'll take a cab, I'll walk, I'll drive myself, I'll meet you there. Nobody wants to drive with you if you're a bad driver. I have friends personally that are not great drivers and I really, especially now that I have a wife and kids, like I have, you know, more on more, more, more dependence, I guess you'd call it. Uh, even though, you know, my wife doesn't depend on me. I'm not trying to say that she's definitely miss independent. But the point is I have more people that love me and rely on me than I did before, I really don't want to get in the car with a bad driver. Like I will not, I'd rather walk 10 kilometers than get in the snow, blizzard weather, than get in the car with a bad driver. So people don't want to drive with you and that sucks socially. Number five is you're basically going to get honked at a lot. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, if someone's a really bad driver and they do something that affects me, I honk at them, not in an aggressive, angry way, but I honk at them to let them know what they're doing is bad. If we all don't honk at other drivers, then they're never gonna know what they're doing is bad and they're never gonna wanna improve. If a driver gets honked at 100 times a day, they're gonna, it's gonna start to click, no matter how confident they are, it's gonna start to click. Maybe it's my fault, maybe I'm a bad driver. So you're gonna get honked at a lot if you're a bad driver, okay? We all know, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, my mom's a decent driver, but she does a lot of things, like sometimes she drives too slow, and I've witnessed while well, I'm in the car with her getting honked at two, three times in a single commute, okay? Ma, give it a little gas, move a little bit faster, okay? Last but not least is number six, which is injury. 
and this can be really bad because it can be fatal. I mean, you can get injured, like you can have a minor injury, like a, a broken finger. I broke my finger many years ago in a rollerblading accident, not a uh, driving accident. I was rollerblading, long story short, I took a big fall and <laughs> broke my finger and my wrist. This one just never repaired properly. Um, but it could get way worse than that, you know, whiplash, neck injuries, uh, upper body injuries, and, and even uh, the worst case scenario, if you know what I'm talking about. So those are six consequences of being a bad driver. I didn't want to make this video to scare anybody. I wanted to make this video so that you would hopefully, all of us, can take the appropriate steps to be a better driver. Because even if you're already a good driver, there's no harm in getting better, right? It's as simple as that. There's Improvement should be something that's constant throughout your entire life. From when you are first born, we are constantly improving until the day that we die we need to be constantly improving okay it's very simple and that's it those are six consequences of being a bad driver if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching